DeVries here uh, bringing you a tutorial video um, in my series on grade one of the Trinity College uh, clarinet syllabus. Uh, you've just heard me play um, Granny's Delight. The piano accompaniment um, is actually a MIDI file um, of the piano score uh, which is downloadable uh, for your use, uh, free of charge, um, on my SoundCloud um, page, and that link will be in the comments. Um, I like uh, I like this piece. It's um, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's very good to getting you used to um, moving more than one finger at a time and having to coordinate several fingers, because we're going. It's from B to C, B to G, then G to D, which you're actually moving quite a few fingers, then back to D to B, and then C to A, and then the really tricky one, A to A, and noticing how I'm just rolling my hand to get up to that A. I mean I'm hardly moving at all. Make sure that your fingers are off the uh, holes but but just um, just gently roll that to the A. And then of course F sharp to D. And then going up to A again. Again, gently rolling and then the G octave. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this a little bit slower because at the moment I'm doing it at speed. Um, but I'm going to take it down to 120. Okay, so what you'll get is you'll get three bips and then you come in. Oops, let's try that again. Okay, so um yeah, the what I do recommend when you're practicing this is to make sure that um the fingers are clean. <laughs> it. Um, now in bar five we drop down to a mezzo forte from the forte of the first bar so it's a little bit slower. <laughs> do in the last line you've got a sort of melody happening um, but it's split between a couple of notes you've got this in um, with a repeated G and I would emphasize that lower melody going to take it even slower than 120.
Let's take it at 112. So you'll hear three bips and then we come in. <coughs> difficulty when you're playing it at the fastest speed of 140 but I would recommend that you go at least four bars um, without breathing and personally at bar eight I would either breathe after the F sharp or the D um, I wouldn't advise that you breathe um, at the head of the crescendo that's usually not done so you would be <laughs> I think it almost makes sense to breathe after the F sharp. And cut off the note a little bit shorter. you can just ask. This book, I'm, I'm going from clarinet all sorts, grades one to three, um, and we've also got minuet, Cornish dance, and time to go. Uh, so I'll be looking at those um, in the fullness of time. So I hope you got something out of this video. Thanks for listening, and bye for now. <laughs>